except for Apple items, $1,000 for a freaking cell phone? One awesome thing about tech is you commonly get more for your cash with each passing year. This is especially valid with car tech, features like driver helps and encompass seat cameras that were once only accessible in extravagance vehicles now come standard even on some economy autos. A similar thing is gradually occurring with head-up shows, HUD. For instance, the 10-inch HUD in the 2018 Toyota Camry is one of the biggest and best HUDs I've found in any auto. Furthermore, a major change on the considerably littler HUD in the most recent Toyota Prius. Mazda is another standard brand that offers HUDs in a few of its vehicles. However, rather than installing costly parts in the dash and utilizing an extraordinary windshield, the HUDs in the Mazda 3 and Mazda 6 utilize a thin plastic focal point that folds down when not being used. Scale down has a comparative arrangement, however this minimal effort approach has restricts as far as size and position of the pictures contrasted with customary HUDs that utilization the windshield as a screen. We're additionally beginning to see comparative focal point based secondary selling alternatives that can be added to any auto. A year ago I tried a versatile HUD called Navdi that takes advantage of an auto's OBD2 port to give data on speed and RPM and utilizations worked on GPS and Google Maps to demonstrate the encompassing zone, show speed braking points and course you to your goal. Navdi additionally interfaces with an Android or iOS cell phone by means of Bluetooth to show information from telephone calls, writings and music playing on an associated gadget, and it's easy to utilize and effortlessly obvious in any lighting condition. While Navdi is as yet accessible on the web, before the end of last year the organization kept running into budgetary challenges, and item bolster has been ended. I as of late tried another convenient HUD called Hudley that is not exactly completely heated and misses the mark concerning Navdi since it doesn't take advantage of an OBD2 port. Since a partner cell phone application for Hudley isn't planned to dispatch until one month from now, for the time being it just mirrors what's on a cell phone. So it can be utilized for nav and different applications, and its highlights are extremely constrained. Between automakers including HUDs and more sensibly valued autos and the resellers exchange filling in the holes for existing vehicle proprietors with additional items, the innovation is winding up more pervasive and moderate. What's more, it's additionally showing signs of improvement. A couple of years prior I tried a model HUD from level 1 provider Continental that utilizations enlarged reality, R, to include an additional layer of dynamic data in a driver's viewable pathway. For instance, when moving toward the turn with a goal set by the root framework, rather than a static bolt pointing the way, Conti's R HUD overlays a huge pathway making a course for direct the driver through the move, which is particularly useful while arranging confounded crossing points on a new street. The R HUD likewise enhances driver help frameworks by giving particular alarms. Combined with path takeoff cautioning, it anticipated a line of virtual raised markers onto the street's painted path lines, while the test vehicle's vibrating situate cautioning highlight influenced it to feel as though the tires were running over genuine bots. Dots when it veered off base and over the virtual markers. The 2017 Lincoln Continental, suitably enough, and the 2018 Lincoln Navigator utilize a computerized micro-mirror gadget DMD, innovation that Continental, the provider, calls a scaffold between head-up shows and expanded reality arrangements to give brighter and more keen pictures than customary HUDs and a bigger show zone with the goal that more data can be appeared. Condi says that it intends to have the full R HUD that I tried underway by 2023. HUD innovation isn't new, it initially showed up in an Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme in 1988. We've been sitting tight 30 years for HUDs to be accessible in a more extensive assortment of vehicles, and it appears we're very nearly the innovation at last going standard. What's more, now that autos, and drivers, are getting to be immersed with tech, it can't come soon enough.